Benny Johnson is an individual who, let me just say right off the bat, has never been to a proper barber in his entire life. I mean, what is going on here? You have to try to f*** up to do this bad of a job. And then he like flips it all over. It's like he's not losing hair, but he's still giving himself a comb over. What's going on? What's going on? So the reason why I want to talk about this is because Elon Musk has been in the news and Benny Johnson loves Elon Musk. Oh, he's a plagiarizer as well. That's right, Winston. Benny Johnson used to work at BuzzFeed. Uh, he probably wrote a bunch of those dumbass quizzes where it's like, hey, take this quiz to find out which fruit you are <laughs> or some shit like that. Uh, but he was fired for plagiarizing, right? Anyways, here he's going to um, ride Elon Musk's dick and suck him off for a minute and five seconds. And let me be upfront with you. The reason why I'm using homoerotic language is because my brother in Christ here literally outed himself and didn't even realize it. So he posted this. And I've talked about this before, but it will never not be funny. The advertising on the Military Times right now. So he's outraged. The Military Times is advertising the world's largest gay cruise. The only problem with this is you can see this right here. Um... I'll let Matt explain. Love when conservative podcaster Benny Johnson complained about seeing ads for a gay cruise without realizing that the ads were customized based on your internet search history. Yeah, and look, I am an actual homosexual, believe it or not. I'm a real-life gay person, and I don't think I've ever seen an ad like this. So his search history far more gay than mine. My search history is probably super boring and, and vanilla, honestly. I go to like the same 13 websites plus Twitter and they're all political websites. So, but I, like just to kind of put this into perspective for you, I've never in my life seen an ad like this. That's how gay his search history is, okay? And look, no shame, right? Uh, it's cool if you want to be gay, but the dude is hiding it and he has a beard, I mean a wife. Um, so anyways, let's uh, let's listen to him suck off his daddy, Elon Musk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this show. What did we do to deserve Elon Musk? I don't know. I'm not sure. I say my prayers. I go to church. I read my Bible. But I'm not sure why the, the dear Lord above blessed us with Elon Musk. We are not worthy. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend, Elon Musk went on an absolute tirade, starting with this tweet. A tw Okay. Let me just pause for a moment here. There's a lot of things that I'm noticing. The Pure Talk label on the microphone. I have this same microphone for my Humanist Report show, like the main show, and I don't notice that Pure Talk logo. So maybe he has a different brand. But I mean, look, if you're going to ride his dick this hard, at least make him take you out to dinner, Benny. Because goddamn, I don't think I've seen simping on this level ever. Holy shit. Tweet about pronouns saying uh, my preferred pronouns are prosecute, Fauci. Oh, man. If you <laughs> this is the one joke that they're going to use now. Again, I've said it once. I'll say it again. It used to be I identify as an attack, uh, Apache attack helicopter or I identify as blank Dave Chappelle. The goat comedian even literally used that during a stand-up. But now, the new one joke that they have is, my pronouns are blank and blank. So all you have to do in order to get these dipshits to clap like seals is say this joke. And it doesn't even have to make sense, right? I could say, my pronouns are fart and poop. And he would laugh hysterically. There would be tears streaming down his face. He wouldn't be able to contain himself. And then, as he's already busting a gut, I drop another one. My pronouns are ass and cheek. And he would be dying. He'd be rolling on the floor. That's how small these fuckers' brains are. Like, <laughs> this is the lowest IQ jokes that you can imagine. And they love it. Let's go back and see how much he was laughing at this. Gee. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, like, I think he's probably faking a little bit because there's no way that any person on this entire planet would even do more than a <laughs> at this. So he's obviously playing it up. 
But I mean, it's it's just embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. At the rate that he's going, I don't know what happens after the one minute. But if you told me that he took a dildo with a suction cup and stuck it to a wall and started sucking it and saying, oh, Elon, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Because, I mean, this is the highest form of dick riding, which we're seeing right here. It's a master class. He's putting on a clinic in dick riding. If you have a equivalent of taking a flamethrower to a hornet's nest, this is the tweet equivalent of that. But the hornet's nest is uh, 17,000 times bigger than any hornet's nest you've ever seen. And inside, the inside hornets are uh, branch Covidians masked and quintuple vaxxed and have nothing to do with their lives other than to rage at Elon Musk. And that is certainly what they did. No. So I don't know where he's going with this, but um, it's not that good, buddy. It's just it's not that good, unfortunately for you. Um, and let me just ask the chat. When you saw this tweet from Elon Musk, nothing. did you do anything other than roll your eyes who raged at this like it's dumb because why are you gonna prosecute fauci like what's the reason specifically because old man bad like i, I don't i don't understand it i personally don't like fauci because of the ways that he wasn't vocal about the vaccine waiver being a necessity during 2021 when vaccines were, were first created but i mean i just feel like Fauci is one of the most milquetoast people. Um, he, he did his job for a long time. He's like, he's somehow one of the most inoffensive people ever. But to the right, he's become like this lightning rod. And so for Elon Musk to like go after him, it's just stupid. So that's my only, that's my only take, right? That's, it's just, this is, this is corny. But he's saying, oh, they were raging. This strikes me as him trying to be, a uh, hip with the fellow kids where he's all about the dank may mays and he's always trying to fit in i just i can't stand him but as much as i hate him it gives me pleasure knowing that this closeted homosexual is forced to um live with a woman he's not attracted to and all he can do is fantasize about his daddy elon musk so these people say terrible things and do stupid things because they're miserable so just keep that in mind folks they're miserable pieces of shit